Hi, welcome to IT World Solutions. Today's agenda is to learn about how we can uh, set CPU alert on Zabbix. Okay, so in my in our last video we just discussed how to set disk alert, and today we will gonna see how to alert uh, set CPU alert. Okay, so let's come here. So these are the multiple options which Zabbix provide that you can calculate these separately for example how much cpu user is causing how much cpu system is causing how much io weight uh, according to needs value interrupt soft and steal time so these are multiple options uh, given by zabbix and for example this is our free cpu means how much uh, percentage of cpu is our free okay so if you want to calculate usage okay for example how much cpu is used so obviously you have to add these all right means to add these then you will get how much cpu is using right now okay so you can see that 0.3 percent cpu is used right now or it it's just uh, changing variably right so let's go back here so to set up this alert will be a little complicated so mean, means we have to add these and all so why go for a tough rule just go for a simple one set a alert if this idle cpu is less than 20 then generate a alert okay so we are gonna do this so just go back to the console Close it. This is my channel. Subscribe it, please. Yes. Go back to the panel. Okay. So here, go to the configuration. Go to the host, and this is the default item. Okay. So uh, what our our parameter is ideal time, right? You can see it here. Idle okay this one so we will search for an item which is by default created just search for idle see this is created already so we just need to create a trigger go to the trigger create one cpu is less than 80 okay select that key from here search IDLE select this and if the value of T but now what is T T is this right now this is 98% okay so compare 98 is it less than 20 no it's not so it will not generate your alert if it goes to 19 okay is it less than 20 yes it is less than so generate a trigger okay so let's go back here so whatever t value is less than n what is n n is 20 20 okay so insert it and go back to the dashboard okay and pick this flag this is disaster high average it's it's just a color okay so you can select according to your need and uh, add this okay you are done now wait for your cpu increase and then it send alert so we cannot wait for that so just run a simple command this one it will increase your cpu okay you wanna see this okay control z run this in background run top c 99 percent which command dd command okay but dd this command so let's go back to our console and go to the monitoring go to the graph and s monitor this yeah it's increasing good so now 
the ideal value is less than 20 yes it is less than 20 so it should generate a alert event oh see latest data cpu sorry for the f cpu is okay now filter oh trigger event what's going wrong yeah we got the alert just one second ago so this is the basic time which Zabbix need to calculate things so this alert is up you can see it it's in monitoring graphs and see the ideal CPU is less than it's it's I think it's finished so yeah it's zero percent remaining okay so now we can also see latest data for this okay no problem so this was our alert and today's agenda if i go and kill this for example foreground yes now cancel it now monitor top is zero zero percent okay good go back see the graph so within uh, within a minute it will come back to it back state and our CPU alert will be set to the okay okay guys so this was the whole agenda how to set the Zap CPU alert in Zapix and one more thing for example just imagine you have 200 servers and you want to set CPU alert so would you go for on uh, every 200 servers and uh, will create a separate item and will create a separate trigger no that's not a solution so in our next video we will gonna learn that how we can set alerts in a bulk mode okay so that is the work of template so there template will come in the picture see this is gone because go to the graph see the ideal value is now again 98 percent so when this ideal value is less than 20 your cpu alert will be generated so i was talking about template okay this is my ws account so template will help you to set multiple alerts okay in a single click okay so thank you for watching this uh, if it is good and if you learn something then please share with your friends thank you and you can subscribe for the latest videos thank you